day, we will read and write multi-digit numbers. Our first vocabulary word is period. In math, a period is a group of three digits on a place value chart. So here's the place value chart. At the top, you'll see the periods. We have ones, thousands, millions, and billions. Each of those periods has columns for three different digits that go ones, tens, hundreds. So for ones, we have our ones, tens, and hundreds. This group of three digits kind of repeats itself. We have the thousands period with ones, so one thousand, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. This continues on to millions with its millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and keeps going on as far as the numbers as big as we want to go. Between each period we put a comma. So if you have a number that is greater than three digits, you need to add a comma. Greater than six, you'll have two commas, and so forth. If I write a very large number, this may look a little intimidating at first, but these periods really make it easy to write and to say, because we really just have to break it into three digits at a time. So if I was going to say this number, I would say 792, and then I hit a comma. That comma is the billions. So 792 billion, and then we just say the next three digits, 584. And that comma is the end of the millions, period. So 792 billion, 584,000. 618, this is the thousands, and then 329. So if you can say a three-digit number, you can go as high as you know the periods. So let me say this whole thing all at once now. So we have 792 billion, 584 million, 618,329. You don't have to say ones at the end. Notice that nowhere in there did I say the word and. A lot of people make the mistake of putting ands in their numbers. And means decimal point. We're not into decimals, so I should never see an and written or said in any of your words and your numbers during this lesson. Our second vocabulary word is standard form. Standard form is when you only use digits to show a number. Here are some examples of standard form. It's called standard form because it's standard. It's, you could say, normal, how you normally see numbers. So we have 7, 142, and 23,896. All of those examples are in standard form. They only use digits. We also have expanded form. Expanded form shows a number as a sum of the values of each digit. So, as you know, from younger grades, sum means addition. So we're going to be adding each digit. Here's an example. 321. If we wanted to expand this, we would take each digit, starting on the left, with that 3, the digit is 3, we want to show the value. So that was all what we did in lesson number 1. So the value of that digit is 300. And we're going to find the sum, so that means we're going to add. So 300 plus our next digit, 
which is a 2, but its value is 20, plus our last digit of 1, which has a value of 1. So 300 plus 20 plus 1 is the expanded form of 321. One more example of expanded form, 1,408. We take that one, its value is 1,000, plus 400, plus nothing, so we don't need to write that down, plus 8, and that is expanded form, the sum of the values of each digit. And you can see it's much larger, it's expanded, than the standard form it began with. Last of all, for vocabulary, we have word form. Word form shows the number only using words, so no digits at all. So if I had 728 in standard form and I wanted to change it to word form, I would write 728. You write it just the way that you say it. If I had 12,605, I would write that 12,605. So now ready for some examples. I'll do two for you, and then I'll have you do some. So the first one says write 1,279,654 in word form and expanded form. Always watch for those ands. It means I need to do two things. Let's start with word form. So I'm going to write this in words the same way I would read it. So I have one, then I hit a comma, which is the million. So one million, two hundred seventy-nine. That's the thousand. So two hundred seventy-nine thousand six hundred fifty-four. That's the word form. Now let's do the expanded form. So remember, I'm going to take each digit, and I'm going to write its value, and then add them together. So expanded form. That 1 is really a value of 1 million, plus 200,000, plus 70,000, plus 9,000, plus 600, plus 50, plus 4. So that is the expanded form. Okay, my second example is the opposite. I need to write 2,757,000 983 in standard form. So, like I said, if you take it in chunks, it's not quite as scary as it looks at first. So we have 2 million, so 2, then my comma for million, 757,000, so I need another comma, 983, and that's the end so I don't need anything else. Okay, I want you to try this one, and we'll see how you're doing. Write 425,876 in word form and expanded form. Go ahead and pause this, and when you have both of those, unpause it, and we'll see how you did. Okay, here's word form. You should have 425,876. So everything should be in words. If you have even one digit in there, go ahead and 
fix it real quick. That's the word form, but it says and expanded form. So here's expanded. 400,000 plus 20,000 plus 5,000 plus 800 plus 70 plus 6. Okay, here's the second problem that we'll check together. I want you to write 4 million plus 300,000 plus 7,000 plus 900 plus 80 plus 1 in standard form. Once again, pause it and then check your work when you're done. Okay, I'm going to add a chart on here just to make it a little easier. So we had four million, so that goes in the one spot of the millions. Then we had three in the hundred thousand spot. A seven in the one thousand spot. Notice that we didn't have any ten thousands, but it's important we put a zero there. You can't just leave a blink. Then we have a nine in the hundred spot, an eight in the tens, and one in ones. So your answer should have been four million three hundred seven thousand. 981. Okay, these next problems you'll bring and show me tomorrow in class. Here they are. Number one. Write 1,234,567 plus 567 in word form. And then write that same number 1,234,567 in expanded form. Your last question is to write 27,432,612 in standard form. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.